the legendary actress Dee Wallace. How are you doing? You I'm fabulous. It's the last day of the convention, so we're, we're all pretty tired. Scarefest 2017. Fabulous. I wanted to ask you about your spiritual healing. Oh, well, I could talk days about that. I'm a clairaudient channel, and my specialty is to be able to kind of reach into people's energy and decipher and understand what personal blocks they have toward the goal they want to meet in their life. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty awesome work. Did you feel a calling a long time ago? It, it, well, you know, when I was a little girl, I used to channel, but I just thought it was my imagination. And then when I got older, um, my husband died, and I kind of dropped to my knees and I said, I don't want to be a victim for the rest of my life about this. This is a turning point. Yeah. But I asked, you see, I want a way we can heal ourselves. And literally within seconds I started getting information. The information's open to all of us. All of us. And then we have to trust the process of understanding. With that being said, you know our country is in a very divided spot right now. You think? Understatement. <laughs> Do you have any suggestions on how we individually can tackle what's going on right now? The only way you're going to change anything is to change yourself. It starts from within. You shift you and your belief systems and the perspectives you hold. The world around you has to and does shift. Because if we could just all go back to that one simple thing of love. Love ourselves. We want to allow other people to love themselves and create themselves the way they want. And then nobody's threatened. It's right. so simple, but we just come just, together. Yeah. A piece of advice I would give anyone, every day get up and go, how can I love myself more? Not in an egotistical way, but in a, a pure way of knowing how great a creator you are with your own energy. So last question. Obviously the book just came out. Nope, nothing wrong here. <laughs> Cujo. My friends and I were discussing this last night. Why do you think that Cujo, of all of the films that you've done, has really stood the test of time? Like the acting, the performances are Thank you. incredible. Well, I think that's why. You know, a good film is a good film is a good film. And sometimes a film comes out and it's a good film, but it's timely for what's going on. You know, Cujo and the Howling and E.T., of course, they just apply to a lot of the things that are, you know, going on today, which is fear. How to face fear and how to deal with fear. I just think it's really well directed, really well shot. It's a film I'm proudest of as far as my um, performance. Well, Sid Haig and I both said that you deserve an Oscar. Oh, I love you, Sid. Give this woman an Oscar already. What's happening? Whatever! Okay, this has been fun. And thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank have you. a good day. Thank you. Bye. Bye.